Hi, I'm Nate, and you're watching Photo Learningism. Somebody pointed out that the gradient map feature in the 4.4 Critter Review um, wasn't quite as deep as, as they would like to see, and I would agree with that. I showed you where to get at the settings, but didn't really demonstrate it. So I want to take a, just a minute and do that, because there are a couple of catches about this that didn't come through in the original video. One being that you do need to have a digital pen to get the most out of that, um, because you need the pressure sensitivity to really uh, see the change in the texture. Um, second is that um, this is really a texture gradient map. It really is not a color gradient map. So understand the distinction there. It already does color gradient when you add pressure sensitivity in Krita. This is adding a texture map that you can use. And uh, going back into the brush settings up here, flipping it on with pattern under texture, you have some things that you can see. It starts you off here. The texture is in the second tab. You can pick what kind of texture is going to be mapped into this gradient. <laughs> and the options help you to figure out what to do with that. Now, I noticed that playing around with some of these textures, not all of them are actually scalable. You can see as I play with this one how that changes up here. Not all of them seem to be scalable. Because uh, I tried playing with a few and not all of them change like this one doesn't seem to support scaling. So be aware that that's not universal for all things. I'm gonna stick with one that is scalable here for now so we can see. And I'm gonna keep that, I'm gonna save my settings. Um, I will note that if you're gonna try this, um, pick a brush to start with and then save it as a new preset when you're done just so you don't overwrite one of the built-in presets and uh, you can have them side by side. All right, so I'm gonna click off that and then to see what this does, I'm going to put different levels of pressure, and you can see how the gradient changes, um, the pattern, excuse me, changes with the amount of pressure. And that's really what this is doing. We could play with the color palette a little bit over here if we really wanted to and change that up a little bit. You can see what that does. Uh, depending on the layering, you can play with what it happens as we paint on top of one thing or the other it changes the effect depending on how you've set those options up so that's there to play with and just to kind of give a clean contrast with this off which i'll do right now i'm going to go back into the preset options we're just going to take that check off of pattern and now with pressure you can see it's just kind of a plain color without texture so something to be gained because you could get you know kind of a textured painting uh with doing that, so there's some cool possibilities, but again, understand the distinction is that color gradient was already there. <laughs> uh, this is more adding in a texture map, really, with the gradient. So hope that helps. Thank you very much.